Now, if you see, I put up an FXXK run of this track, but looking at the expert race in Rome with something with a bit more handling and uh, faster acceleration, but really, really um, poor top speed. So I'm going to take in the Senna to this. Um, this car is not suited for most of the other uh, daily expert races, but it is a really enjoyable car to drive. It's the equivalent basically like the Elise, the Viper ACR and the Grand Sport Corvette. As in like it handles amazingly well. But when it goes onto a straight it just fails. Because yeah the top speed of this is in line with some of the C-Class cars. Which is a shame. But then like there is courses like this where yeah it does just absolutely shine. And yeah, if you've got this car, I would strongly advise you give it a pop at the Rome course because it is one of the easiest ones that I find to do it in. I haven't actually tried this in the Chiron yet because that seems to be a bit of a jack of all trades. But yeah, I've seen the um, Chiron Day 15 is kind of looking like mm, around 1,200 people have unlocked it. But yeah, the, the Senna is definitely my go-to car for this course just because of how well it handles. Um, I really want to put up a video about steering because people have asked how it drives smooth. And you can probably hear it in some of the videos and I'm like, that clicking sound is like, I never actually, um, or very rarely am holding the stick like a solid, um, hold left or right like it is more and hitting it with my thumb but uh yeah there's the a far faster time than the fxxk i think i had a 122.5 in that whereas a 120.5 like it just comes down to the fact of this course never gives you that much of an opportunity to kind of open up and go full speed in a car so the senna's top speed being terrible doesn't come into um play quite as much Whereas the amazing handling of it really allows it to kind of flick back and forth around those corners way more than like the FXXK feels like the car is about twice as long compared to the Senna. So um, yeah, maybe take a look at that one for doing this event if you have access to it. The uh, Fenra, I'm <laughs> really, really bad at pronouncing some of the names of these cars. Sorry, but the um, yeah, that guy's handling is quite cool. This one as well is really, really good. The Zenvo, Terzo, Egoista, all of those, like, they have amazing top speed, but they suffer so bad. The Lycan Hypersport's not bad on the uh, Rome stage, actually, as well. It's pretty good, but, like, it's a pain in the that FXK because of the way it turns it just feels like it's almost too long for some of those corners. The Centenario, I've never been able to do the Rome course with. Just genuinely, no matter how well tuned it was, I could never get it to up to speed on that course. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave it at that and just to sort of give a bit of a pointer. I might throw up a run, a blasting around it in the 4.2k Chiron. I have a feeling that that would be able to do it because it's been able to do, uh, it was able to do the two hardest courses on uh, with one star, but I'll have to see. Anyway guys, above my head there is a subscribe button, uh, there's some randy in random indie games over that side that I mess around with, and a uh, random video that YouTube thinks you might enjoy at this side here. So if this video helped you out, uh, maybe click one of those and return the favor. Okay, I'll leave it at that, and uh, drive safe guys, good luck.